Hello guys, look for here and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing another FIFA 17 Legend review on the 87 rated Italian legend Gianfranco Zola. He cost me 234k and in the 5 games that I played with him he scored me 4 goals and got me 3 assists. He has a 4 star weak foot along with 3 star skill moves and a medium medium work rate. So let's now get into his in-game stats and highlights. Okay guys, so getting into Zola's in-game stats, the four main stats on his card would stand out to me are his 88 balance, his 90 ball control, his 87 positioning and his 85 finishing. He has the specialist of dribbler and free kick specialist and then the traits of finesse shot, uh, flare, outside foot shot and taking finesse free kicks. And getting into towards the highlights that I got with Zola, I really enjoyed this card. Um, I'll go into his pros first. Uh, his three main pros to me are, are his dribbling, finishing, and passing. So I'll start off with his dribbling first. His dribbling is his main kind of standout stats when you look at him on his base card and then when you look into his in-game stats. In the dribbling area, he's just fantastic over in terms of balance, ball control, dribbling, uh, agility, which all link in into the dribbling um, part of the base card. And uh, he was definitely good in the dribbling area. With him also being a short player, it means his dribbling is just likely to be better. And obviously combining good dribbling with good agility, balance, etc. Meant it was just, he was fantastic in terms of being able to kind of go through with the players. Unfortunately, he only has three star, we um, three star skill moves, which it shouldn't be that. Zolo was actually a really skillful player, so he should be at least a four star. Um, but overall, in terms of his dribbling, he was really good at kind of weaving in, about, uh, in and out of players. His second pro is his finishing. He scored four goals in five games for me. Now, in three of those games, um, people raged quit against me in like the first half. So, I reckon he probably would have had maybe an extra goal. Because overall, in the time that I lost, I probably lost a game and a half uh, in game time. So, technically, he only played three and a half games uh, for me. But um, four goals in five games was a very good return. And he was very good with finishing inside the box in particular. And then finally, his passing being another pro. He's very good at making uh, passes to the rest of my attack um he did get me three assists in the five games as well again i lost about a game and a half because people rage quit against me so i probably maybe would have had an extra assist as well because uh, he was already doing um really well and then for me his only con is uh, his strength he is very very weak uh, i knew this would be an issue um going into using him it's been a problem with him in the previous games uh, like fifa 16 and fifa 50 when i've used him uh, and he definitely felt very weak in this game. Putting a chem style to improve his strength won't improve his strength. You won't see a noticeable difference. You should instead go and put something on for his passing or his dribbling because already his strength is just way too low that if you were to upgrade it, you wouldn't see a good enough difference on like a five foot six player. Um, but overall, I did really enjoy him. A lot would question where to play him. I played him as a cam. Some would consider playing him as a centre forward or maybe even a striker. Uh, I think... The cam position is best to kind of get the best out of his all-round stats. Although I think he could be played as a centre forward and maybe even a striker. But I personally go and play him as a cam. For 234k, he is definitely worth the coins. And I'm going to give him a 9.8 out, out of 10. If if he wasn't that weak, then he would be a 10 out of 10 player. And in terms of the cam category, he's about level-ish with... Rui Costa and JJ Okocha, they're definitely by a mile the best legend cams in my opinion in this FIFA. Um, I don't think there's any other legend cams that I haven't reviewed yet. Um, so overall, really happy though uh, with Zola. Definitely worth the coins and that is going to finish off this legend review for you guys. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys later.